Now to an issue that's already creating controversy, the issue of whether horse racing will come to Jefferson County. It's on the ballot. There are two propositions in regards to horse racing and betting. Our Kelsey Johnson breaks it down for us. Well, I talked to Kevin Johnson today. He's working with the private group who is hoping to bring horse racing to Jefferson County. He tells me he talked to people on both sides and the best way to make your voice heard on the issue is to get out and vote. Horse racing could soon come to Jefferson County. We're working on getting um, a, a proposition passed here in Jefferson County because there's never been one in regards to opening up a track license for the county. Kevin Johnson works at a government affairs consulting firm based out of Austin. He says a private group is looking to foot the bill for the whole project. I know there was a question recently that I had from some voters. Is, is this going to be a cost of the county? No. Starting now until November 5th, you can vote on Propositions A and B. A will give the okay to bring a racetrack to Jefferson County where people can place bets on races. And B will legalize wagering on off-track horse races, which are horse races that are happening across the country. I believe uh, Judge Brandon put it the best way possible. And that is, he's not for gambling. He, you know, his, you know, it's... It's not one of the things that he promotes and pushes, but he does feel like it needs to be in the hands of the people and the voters to make that decision. Johnson tells me the group is looking for about 14 acres of land, preferably along a major highway. But we're looking on Interstate 10 from 365, mainly on, I guess we'd be saying the the western part of Beaumont, Ford Park. There's been discussions with the county. Again, people are just voting for or against the propositions right now. If it passes, there is no set timeline on when the racetrack will open here in Jefferson County. Kelsey Johnson, 12 News.